Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 6.6 .6 from Sadiku book. So the question is the voltage waveform in figure 6.46 is applied across a 55 microfarad capacitor. Draw the current waveform through it. Okay, so we are given the capacitance is 55 microfarad. So our C is 55 microfarad. Or we can rewrite that as C is equal to 55 multiplied by 10 to the minus 6 farad. Okay, let's try and remember, try to remember that the current that pass through a capacitor is equal to C multiplied by dV over dt. We know exactly the C, right? We are given the C here, which is 55 microfarad. So let's just plug that into here. So ID is 55 multiplied by 10 to the minus 6 and then multiplied by dV over dt, right? So that is ID. Now, the question is, what is dV over dt? dV over dt, here we have this function here as our vt, right? And remember from the calculus, the derivative of a function is just the slope, right? So dV over dt is the slope. of this function here okay and remember that so now for this part here from 0 until 2 maybe I need to draw some graph here okay let's just draw it like that now, between 0 until 2, we will have the slope of this one. So, remember the slope is m is equal to delta y divided by delta x. This is 0, 0. And this will be 2, 10. Right? And so for this one, we will have the slope here, 10 minus 0, that will be 10. And then divided by 2 minus 0, which is 2. So we will have the slope here is 5, right? So here the slope is 5. And what does that mean? That means that the IT is 55 multiplied by 10 to the minus 6 and the slope is 5 so we multiply that by 5 and 55 multiplied by 5 is 275 okay 275 multiplied by 10 to the minus 6 this is ampere or this will be 275 micro ampere. So between 0 until 2, we will have 275 micro ampere. So let's just draw it like that. And then this will be 2, 275. Okay, here is the T, which is in millisecond. And here is the I, T that will be in micro ampere good now maybe i just need to use another color here let's just use green okay now between two and four i think that will be easy enough because this is just horizontal line and horizontal line the slope will be 
0, right? So between 2 and 4, the slope will be 0, and it will be 55 multiplied by 0. That will be 0 microampere. So we will have 0 here from 2 until 4. And where is the red one? So we'll have that one, 0. And then now let's work on this part here between 4 until 8. Okay. Between 4 until 8, we will have this will be 4, 10. And this will be 8, minus 10. And we can calculate the slope there. So we will have delta y divided by delta x, right? The slope is 10 minus minus 10, which is 10 plus 10. And then divided by 4 minus 8, 4 minus 8. So we'll have 20 divided by minus 5. Minus 4, not minus 5. Minus 4. So the slope will be minus 5. So here, the slope will be minus 5. And therefore, it is 55 multiplied by minus 5. That will be minus 275. Okay, so from 4 until 8, we will have minus 275 okay and that will be our lower line minus 275 okay and then between 8 and 10 the slope will be 0 right again this one will be 0 from 8 to 10. Okay, now let's draw that one. 8 to 10. And then for this one, I think we can just eyeball it. Or we can we can calculate that. Yeah, 12,0. And what is the slope here? The slope is 0 minus minus 10 that will be 10 and then 12 minus 12 comma 10 yeah 12 minus 8 that will be 4 or oh, that will be 2.5 2.5 really I think that should be oh no 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 oh that will be 12 minus 10 that will be 2 2 that will be 2 yeah that should be 5 okay and we get back to 275 for this one here okay and that goes from 10 until 12 and it will get back to 0 so this will be in 12. so this is in 10 and that will be in 12 so this is the final answer for this problem and this is the current map Hopefully, I did not make any mistakes in my calculation. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.